Today we're going to be talking about how to find your passion. Now, I get this question asked a lot where people are like, I want to know, I, I want to find something that I'm passionate about. I hate the job that I'm at. I hate what I do right now. What are some tips to find something that I'm passionate about? And I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody really knows how to find what you are passionate about. That's something that you need to find out. It's different for everybody. But what I can do is offer you a few tips that I know have helped me and also some of the people that I know coaching clients as well. And there's three things that you really want to think about when you're trying to find something that you are passionate about. The first thing is what is something that you love to do? Ask yourself these questions. Number one, what is, what is something that you love to do? You do it anyways. If, even if sometimes if, if it's a hobby, you have to pay to do it. But what's something that you would do for free? Something that you absolutely love doing. The second question is what are you good at? What's something that you're good at? And the third one, if you're not good at anything, this could actually help you as well, is what are you curious about? So what do you love to do? What are you good at? And what are you curious about? Usually if you can find some sort of intersection between two or all three of those, you're going to find something that you could be passionate about. And the reason why I say this is because if you're, if you're sitting there and you're listening and you're like, I'm not really good at a whole lot. I'm kind of a little bit of a jack of all trades. I'm kind of good at this. I'm kind of good at that, but never, I'm not really a master at anything. That's why I say something that you're curious about. Cause if it's something that you're curious about, the good thing about that means that you are willing to research, to put time, to put energy into what that new thing is to learn it. So if you love to do something, and you're not really good at something. So let's say you love to do something, but you're just kind of curious about it. If those two intersect in some sort of way, then you found, you found something that could possibly be something that you could be passionate about. Because a lot of people say, I don't have any passions. And the next question I have for you, if you don't have any passions is, what did you love to do as a kid? And I'm asking you these questions so you can kind of use them as brainstorms, whether you want to pause this and listen to, you know, or listen to me as you're jotting these down is what did you love to do as a kid? What were some of the things that you did whenever you were a child, when money didn't matter, when you were just having fun all of the time, what was something that you loved to do as a kid? The next question I have for you to try to help you jog your mind to find something that you're passionate about is the question, what would you do if money were no object? So if money didn't exist, how would you be spending your free time? You probably wouldn't be at the job that you're at, right? If money didn't exist, what would you be doing with your free time? Or if you were just the richest person in the world, what would you be doing? Let's say you, you donated tons of money to charity. So obviously that can't be one of them. But if you were rich and you had no care in the world, what would you be doing with your free time? See all of these things. If you start to think about them, you start to jog your memory. You start to get a little bit of an idea of some things that you could be passionate about and 